Hey everyone, it's the Dark Knight Admin, and today we're going to talk about person counts. They've kind of gotten a bad rap over the past couple years. I hear people say, I hate person counts. They're half-baked. Person counts are bad, and you should never use them. I even seen a customer response in a very popular Slack group. Person counts, you better think about it a bit more. They're evil, which is not the case. They're just misunderstood. People don't utilize them correctly. So first, what is a person count? It's an individual. It's a count contact mashup. This is great for when you need to sell to individual people. And what's really cool about them is that whenever there is a lookup to an account and contact, the person account will show. So if you have a lookup to account, account, all your accounts will show, person accounts will show in there as well. Same thing will go through contacts. If you look up to a contact, it's gonna show contacts, but it also will show person accounts in there as well. So there's a really cool functionality that you, you can utilize there. One thing to note, you do have to enable person accounts. So Salesforce does need to turn this on. You need to create a record type. You need to create your org by default. Um, make sure that your contact is controlled by a parent. You also need to allow customer support to enable person accounts in your account settings. So you go up to your account settings, check that box, and then go ahead and submit a case to Salesforce, and they will happily turn that on for you. One thing to note, they'll probably actually give you a quick response saying, hey, are you sure they want this enabled? Because they'll just list out everything we just stated. Uh, but once they're on, they're on. They're going to recommend that you try it on a sandbox first. I recommend that as well. Anything new, that you, whenever you build them, they should always build in a sandbox first. Once it's built in sandbox, you can test it and you vet it and you know it's good. Then we go ahead and move into production. So remember, they're on, they're on. You can elect not to utilize the person account record type in the future, but what's this enabling your org, you can't disable. You just you can just choose not to use that record type. If you like this type of contact, please like and subscribe. I produce Salesforce tips every week. So come back again next week to see a great tip again. So some of the use cases for person accounts is like I said, the individual, it's always great when to work with individuals. If you're using Health Cloud, it's great for your patients, your members, your providers, your caregivers. Any person that you know, may not necessarily be part of an account structure, but it's something that you're going to be dealing with, you probably want to create a person account for them or a person account record for that particular individual because it just makes more sense logically when you look at the overall structure. Because looking at a contact that's tied to an account, that really doesn't make sense if they're a caregiver. So you may, may want to just change things about. Whereas in, uh, a person count creating an individual representation of that person makes a lot more sense. You can also use person counts in financial services. You can pretty much use them in any cloud you want whenever you're gonna be selling or working with individual members. Go ahead and enable it, try it on the sandbox, and then see if it works for you. If it works good, good for you, go for it, because they're not bad, just misunderstood. There is a couple of gotchas. Automation can be a little bit tricky. Because most of the time when you're building your automation, you probably want to keep all your fields on the account object. Just makes it easier to reference them. Because when you need to come make, make custom fields for a person account, you either put them on the account or the contact. I recommend to put them on the same object. That way you can reference them. It's easier to get to. Most of the time you're working off of the account anyways. And a lot of the things you want to do with them are going to be off the account. So you can reference those values off of the account. This makes your automation a little bit easier going forth. Like I said, they're not bad, just misunderstood and misused. They have a place and they should not be be, a frown, be frowned upon. Like I said, they're not bad, just misunderstood and misused. And they have a place and it should not be frowned upon. They're not bad, just misunderstood and misused. They have a place and it should not be frowned upon. Feel free to ask me any questions about person counts in the comments below. Thanks for coming and I'll see you next time.